So our next case is a 61-year-old Caucasian female with a 11-centimeter primary uterine leiomyosarcoma that's unfortunately been spread to her peritoneum. It's actually already spread all the way to her lungs. Unfortunately, her ECOG performance status is 1. So there's a number of risk factors that can occur to a patient like this. The most common place for any sarcoma to spread is most likely the lungs. But I think the uterine leiomyosarcoma patients have a kind of unique niche. First, a lot of them have been morselated, and what that does is actually spread tumor all around the abdomen. And that's a practice that probably should be avoided. But once you've spread it around the abdomen, these patients end up stage four through the eyes of a sarcoma doctor. They're not curable. The natural history of this tumor, if it gets up and spread, shows up in lung, and a lot of patients can potentially put off their abnormal uterine bleeding or think they have horrible fibroids and just let these things get out of control. And so I think it's always important that you maintain your adequate OBGYN visits uh, lifelong. So the prognosis for a patient like this, and I think our approach for a patient like this is to extend their life. As somebody who has both peritoneal and lung meds would not be curable by any standard that we have available today. And so I think we're looking at the use of either palliative chemotherapy or hospice as an approach.